Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Princess of Aesthetically Princess and today it is another end of the month video for bullet journaling. I am actually really excited for this theme. I'm hoping I can like really get into like what this theme embodies as a whole. Let's hope. If you can't tell by the um, you know, the thumbnail of this video or these look today, um, we're doing Dark Academia. I'm actually kind of excited about this one. I literally have been sitting here wondering if I can really get this theme, you know, a rolling. But I'm actually kind of excited. I've already like gotten everything down and I'm ready to go. Um, I know last month I didn't do like a quote page with you guys, but this time I will. I have two. These are easier to deal with than the one I was working on last time. I'm actually kind of really excited. So uh, let's get into the video and enjoy the usual things that we do around these streets. Okay guys, so the first part of all of my bullet journals is making a coloring page. This coloring page, and this is time for me to promote my Patreon, is the second tier of the Patreon payment. And if I remember correctly, it's about $9 and you get a wallpaper and this coloring page. I always make sure to make sure they're themed for all of, um, what's it called? all of the month I'm going for so because this month I am doing dark academia I was like I would love for her to be very within like the initial theme of whatever you think of which is blazers and a big reader of all like the great poetry in the world um of course the color plaid some like straight slack pants and coffee cups I actually really like this one I thought it was really cute um, if you guys ever really want to at the end of the month I am going not the end of the month at the end of the year I'm going to post up all of the coloring pages that I've had for the rest for the entirety of this year and some new ones as well so that you guys can get those but I am trying to like you know have you guys have some digital coloring pages if you guys ever wanted them so at the end of the month at the end of the year there all of the coloring pages I've done will be available as for this coloring page, um, there's nothing really too special about it, so um, enjoy the rest of the voiceover.
Okay, on to the next part of this uh, bullet journal journey, which is my quote page. I'm actually really excited about this month's quote page because I actually ended up doing two again. Last month I did two quote pages, but I didn't film either of them for this video. I filmed them separately for TikTok. <laughs> um, and I was actually very happy with how they both turned out last month and I love how like the back how detailed my background pictures for the quotes of that month were i don't usually ever do really detailed quote pages but like this month i was just so in love with last month's detailed picture of the quote page that i was like okay this month has to be something really pretty something cute that could easily be turned into a sticker and be like ha well let's try her holding a book i actually when i was looking up and making my uh Pinterest board for my uh, bullet journal I just kept coming across like a person holding a book so I was like how about what if I just get just the hands holding the book no person and I absolutely think it's so adorable I love the way it came out I love how the hand looks <coughs> sorry kind of sick and I love the watch band that I have on her wrist and the way she's holding the book everything about this is just so cute to me and so simple actually it may look like it took a long time but it kind of it it took about 20 minutes to draw this because of all the lining and making sure I had all the hands in the right position and making sure to get all the shadows and stuff correct but the quote for this month was write hard and clear about what about what hurts and I just found this one I was like so this kind of fits for this month it's been a very interesting 2020 so far and this month in particular has not been very nice to me in any way so this kind of was hit me a little too close to home but I was like it would be perfect for this month's bullet journal now I ended up doing two bullet journal pages one that you will see at the end of the video. Um, it is a timepiece. It is a little, what's it called? It is a timepiece. It's a timepiece. It's a stopwatch, a stopwatch. And it, the quote for it is, Time's the, time is the thief of memory. And I also thought this one would be very nice, very sweet. I ended up doing this one. I'm just going to post it probably on TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, it is princess120798. And um, there you'll probably find it already posted by the time this video is up because I'm going to post it the same day the video goes up, which is on Friday. Now, the main thing about either of these bullet journal pages was that honestly, are very they're both very detailed. The timepiece is a lot more detailed. It took me a lot longer to do the time the timepiece because of how perfect I wanted it. But I'm also just really excited about how like the overall art for them came out and I wasn't really expecting this them to either of them for, to turn out so good and this honestly is just a confidence boost, booster if I'm being completely honest with you um if you guys ever needed commissions and things like that my commissions are usually open they're closed at the exit at this exact moment because like I said I haven't had the best of months so I ended up closing them they'll be open on that they'll be open again on that second weekend September and then um, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you guys ever wanted anything from me, whether it was like a bullet journal quote page or like a facial commission, things like that. And I've been absolutely in love with the Dark Academia book bullet journal theme. This has just been so cute to me, like, period. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sick. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this very calming <laughs> drawing uh, journey. <laughs>
Okay, on to my calendar setup. So this month for September, um, I ended up doing just a few doodles of a thing of stacked papers as well as a very, very simple, very interesting uh, little tied up thing of books and sadly enough I had a sketch a, a sketch already ready for like a camera but because I could find the camera that I had taken inspiration from I literally just said forget it and just left it out and ended up putting something else there you don't see it at the end of this video and you don't see it in the picture but from my timepiece that the timepiece that you will see you will see it at the end of the picture. Oh my god, what am I talking about? Um, at the end of this video, you will see that I took the timepiece from my second uh, quote page and posted it exactly where that camera sketch was. I ended up taking out part of the video because I literally sat there and I kind of like Pinterest board searched all of the uh, cameras that I could and I could not find it anywhere. So like there was like 10 minutes of the video that are cut out because I just kind of sat there and looked on Pinterest for a while before I said forget it and ended up just being like I'll just put that there. So as for this theme of this month I actually ended up choosing to put the little stack of papers because I just kept coming across little cute stacks of like you know documents and letters and things like that and I was like that's just so adorable and so I just put a few things on you know the page and then added a piece of twine and a little tag and I just thought it was super duper cute. As for this little stack of books right here, I also thought it was absolutely adorable and super duper easy to deal with. Um, for this month, if you don't know, I'm going to explain something for you, which is I use a template. Because at the beginning of the year, I when I first started my bullet journal journey, uh, especially on my tablet, it's so much easier and be to, you know, work on my tablet because it's a lot less work and it honestly cuts down time for me. Oh my goodness. It cuts down time for me personally and because I have been working with it so much and nothing about it has like hindered me in any way. I haven't had to change anything. Nothing has been a problem to me. I have not changed my templates for my month, uh, for the calendar, for my weekly setup, or for my, what is it called? My mood tracker. They all come so much easier to me if I keep using the templates so I kind of just stick with them now for the rest of this page I ended up trying to like I said I tried to work on the camera but I ended up you know foregoing that plan and as for just these little things right here it's supposed to you know implicate the idea of torn off tape using tape to like you know take something down I actually like it I thought it was cute but after the video you won't see it at the end of this it was like a day after I had po had filmed everything I ended up coming back and being like okay uh, I feel like these pieces of tape are very very bland and because procreate has these texture tools uh, I ended up using their vintage texture tool and then their grid texture tool and putting them on the tapes and like clipping a clipping a mask onto them and like putting them on the tape so the tapes look a little bit more how do you say energetic I'm gonna post it on Twitter I usually do post them on my Twitter so if you want to see like that overall what's it called picture and how it came out looking I like I said I am gonna post it on Twitter on like the day of me doing this as for the m days of the month I ended up going with just typing them out in a times normal the times roman font because i tried to do it with my handwriting but because i didn't i didn't like how sloppy my handwriting was and i wasn't about to sit there and like particularly or literally take my time writing i decided to just type them out and for some reason for some strange odd re reason me and wednesday have a problem the first time i just forgot to type it in then i forgot to type it in the sec second time and then we just completely spelled it wrong and i don't notice it until very much later and I'm like why am I like this I actually like the way that these uh the uh, days of the month came out they're spaced like perfectly which is very optimistic <laughs> it's very weird to see how well they're spaced and like I said I usually if you don't can't haven't noticed yet I usually start my months 
on a start my days of the week on a Monday instead of a Sunday because it works way better for me. On Sundays, I choose not to do anything, so my week starts on Mondays and ends on Sundays. I know usually other people like to go for their week starts on a Sunday, but because I choose Sunday as my no do nothing day, I don't post on YouTube, I don't post on Instagram, I don't even draw on Sundays. Uh, I choose just to have my days of the week start on Mondays. So I have to go in and also and look up and see what day that um, the month started and what day it ended just because I'm just that blonde, that stupid, just it happens to the best of us. And you don't see the rest of these dots ever be putting in and I don't end up put, writing down the numbers either. But after the video, I tried to type out the numbers and I just wasn't with it. I didn't like how it looked, I felt like they were too big. So I ended up foregoing that plan. Now on to my mood tracker. As for my mood tracker, I try not to change anything because again, like I said, it's so much easier to compare it month by month, especially with how I have my mood tracker set up. I like to do mine with the little mood tracker bar graph because it really shows the fluctuating in my mood, especially when I think about what happened that month. If my mood fluctuates really, really bad, I can see like what days have been better it's so much easier to, to, to like you know to um, keep up keep track of I've seen other people do like the color in with the different colors and honestly just the colors just doesn't work for me which I'm surprised about because usually having colors to depict or you know separate certain things for me usually really helps me out but for, as for my mood tracker the bullet the uh, bar graph kind of works the best for me so as for the doodles that I have on the sides of my mood tracker, um, I have this little rectangle shaped book bag and I also have on the other side just some scattered papers. I just keep seeing scattered papers whenever I look up Dark Academia, especially on Pinterest. They love to show like the scattered papers, the typewriters, the letters, just beautiful handwriting and things like that. So I was like... Scattered, pa scattered papers just work so well in that area. I also wanted to draw a ink pen, like a old style ink pen at one point, but I re didn't really like the design of how it came out and it was just so small. I was just like, we'll just forego it completely. Now that I think about it, I kind of wish I had drawn out like an ink pen. I might do that as like a personal drawing. Ooh, ooh. Well, I have so much time on my hands, I might as well. <laughs> So, I mean, stick around for that if you want to see it, yo. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you might be able to see it. Also, just so you know, I kind of was very interested in how this entire thing kind of looked to someone else, especially because the lining will be so dark. And I think I might go, go in and try and fix it up some more because of how dark the uh, lines on the book bag are. I like it, but like, it's just so dark you can't really see anything. But I enjoyed having this bullet, this uh, mood tracker in my uh, bullet journal. It helps so much. And as for my uh, habit tracker on the other side of the thing, I just put up the numbers and then I just cross them out. So there's nothing too interesting on that side of the paper. So guys, enjoy the rest of this draw through.
Okay, on to my favorite part, which is the weekly setup. So for this weekly setup, I was very interested in the idea of the bookshelf. So as for bookshelves in general, my goodness, uh, I have the, I, the, whenever I was on Pinterest and I was looking up pictures for my, you know, my mood board and things that I wanted to implant in my bullet journal theme, I kept seeing this character just like standing next to a bullet like a bookshelf just looking so pretty and so cool that I just kind of wanted to just draw the bookshelf. I usually draw characters for a lot of things but like being able to just draw like point staples to this theme have been so much fun to me and specifically this bookshelf I just thought was just so pretty. It ended up coming out really nicely because I ended up going back and forth when making the books and um I have a picture that I had like particularly already drawn uh, for something else completely and I ended up just being like hey I have drawn books before because I just knew from prior experience that just drawing out the books would take so long that I just was like you know what forget this we're just going to copy and paste as many of the books as possible so I ended up really liking how the bookshelf came out as like a whole it just looks so pretty and so well put together um if you guys ever wanted to see the picture that I ended up taking the uh books and stuff from they're on my Instagram and my Twitter uh because yeah I mean I've drawn them I might as well let you know that you can find them on like Instagram and Twitter uh both of which are linked down below um I'm so excited to be able to make this particular picture into like um a sticker because I really want to I really like the idea of having these the little bookshelf just on the side and having just a, like a cute thing of stickers or make it into like a washi tape that would be so cute to have like a thick washi tape of just like a bookshelf just continuously going on and on I really thought this was just like one of the most adorable things in the world <laughs> don't judge me this is just like an unjudgeable space okay um, I think one of my favorite things about how this entire page came out came out was exactly the bookshelf and I ended up also choosing to do the tape the um what's it called the tapes that I did for my calendar I ended up redoing and trying to do them again and putting them uh on my uh little daily uh spaces again like I said I like to use these templates so I could, so they're easy to like you know compare week to week and month to month so I just have them all like you know set out and things like that like I said this picture you can find on like my social media and I think I'm going to go ahead and close out this video so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and a like and a share if you want to but if you don't that's fine with me if you guys ever choose to recreate my bullet journals or if you guys ever you know follow become one of my patreons you know either tag me on instagram or twitter or you can always you know use my hashtag which is princess black heart the emoji the black heart emoji uh and then d on instagram and twitter and i will come and i will like all of your cute little uh, remakes of like my theme and things like that and i hope to see you guys next time um leave kind of guesses of what you think next month's uh bullet journal theme is going to be it's going to be the month of october guys so let me know i will see you guys next time bye Oh, no.